Okay, so for today's video, we're actually going to do a real lineup. So I'm going to make up a lineup so we can do um, serve, serve, receive, and base. Because your serve position, your serve, receive position, and your base position are all different. So I just want to show you guys what that looks like. And then we'll zoom in as I go. I just wanted to zoom out while I'm writing. So yeah. Okay, so let's write our lineup real quick. Okay, so I'm going to draw like a little fake like lineup sheet that you would get like if you're playing like um club or something so let's write these little boxes it's like not really accurate sorry but it's close enough <laughs> okay so this is one two three four five six those are the zones and let me zoom in to show you guys okay those are the zones one two three four five six and on the lineup sheet you're always gonna fill out um i mean this is it Typically players don't fill out their lineup sheet. Coaches do this. But anyways, um, let's say in zone one, we have number two and that's our setter. So number two is our setter. Great. I don't know. Let's, I don't know. I have a name for her. Oh, well. Okay. Zone two, let's say that's number 16. That's our first outside hitter. And this is just like a typical like lineup that coaches do. Like they usually start their um outside hitter number one in right front so they usually pull back and serve receive and hit on the right side usually so that's usually where they start so outside hitter number one right there boom and zone three we're gonna have number seven okay and that is our middle blocker number one and i'm just numbering them off just because there are two outside hitters two middle blockers and in this case we're gonna have two right side hitters because we have two setters and they're always back row so there's always an, a right side hitter that goes with the setter but i'll touch on that later so in zone <coughs> in zone four we have number nine number nine and that is our first opposite hitter or right side all right, in zone five, we're going to have number 12. And that is our outside hitter, number two. And then in zone six, we're going to have number 10. And that is our middle blocker, number two, slash libero, because that's where the libero comes in, but the middle always starts in because the libero cannot start um, in the lineup. They just come in for the middle, so, or whoever they come in for. Okay, so now that we have our lineup, um, we're gonna write in our little rotation circles right here. So I'm gonna zoom you out. Okay, so this is rotation one, two, three, four, five, six. And if, if you remember from the last video, I explained that there are six rotations in volleyball. And you just keep rotating the entire game. So, this is your starting lineup, and this if this is how your coach wants you to start, um, that's how you're going to rotate. So, remember, you always rotate, like, this way, or clockwise. <laughs> okay, so we're going to fill out these little circles right here. So, rotation one, and this, keep in mind that the starting rotation is rotation number one. So, the what you start in is row one, or rotation one. Okay, so we're going to write that in real quick. So, this is zone one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let me label that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got that? Okay, cool. So now we're gonna write in um, our little numbers. So number two is here, 16, seven, nine, 12, and 10. Boom. Okay, now we are going to um, write out all of the rest of them and then I'll come back. Or maybe I'll just show you guys. Okay, so remember that we're going to rotate. So number two is now right here. 10, 12, 9, 7, and 16. See how they just like rotated like a clock? So 16 used to be in zone two and now they're in zone three. So that's how that works. I'm going to fill out the rest of them real quick. Okay. Got all my rotations filled out, and I'm going to go ahead and label them just for clarity. Got all of them labeled. Now we are going to move on to the good stuff, the complicated stuff, honestly. So, there is a difference between your service order, 
your service receive or, or not your order. So, okay, so you're always gonna be in service order and then there's your base. And then there's also your serve receive position. So we're gonna go over that and I'm gonna try to explain it as best as I can, but it's also something that's just like easier, like done than said. That's like backwards, I know, but it's easier just to walk through it rather than like writing it out. But I will show you guys how to do this. We're gonna start with rotation one. So look, I want you to look at this as if it was like a column. So like this all goes together. Like these three squares are rotation one. So first we're gonna start with our service order. And our service order is just literally like where you started. So number two is our setter and she's right here. Row one, our setter is right here and right back. And remember the positions, right back, right front, middle front, left front, left back, middle back. And how that corresponds um, in the rotations is zone one is right back. Let me show you. Zone one is right back, zone two is right front, zone three is a middle front, zone four is left front, zone five is left back, and zone six is middle back. So now we're gonna write out our just basic service order. So this is right here, our service order. Okay, so number two is in right back, like I said. Number 16 is in right front, seven, middle front, nine, left front, 12, left back, and number 10 is middle back and then i'm gonna write slash l because that's where our libero comes in so now we're gonna move on to our serve receive scheme so this is when you are receiving the serve and um you're back in your serve receive like little offensive scheme so you can receive receive the serve pass and hopefully get a kill so what i want to do and this is completely like up to the coach but i'm just to show you what like is typical for people so Number two is going to be right here. Our setter is going to be in right back because remember, you cannot overlap each other. And since our setter is in right back in her service order, she has to stay there. So now we're going to have number 16, our outside hitter, number one, pull back and pass. And she's going to be passing right there. But notice how they're not overlapping. Like the setter is not in front of her because that is like illegal and you'll get called for it. And the, t and the point will go to the other team. The setter has to stay behind 16 because that's where she is in service order. See how number two is behind number 16? She has to stay that way. <clears throat> so now we're gonna have our outside, oh no, excuse me, our opposite and our middle just all stacked over here. But notice how number nine is still in front of number seven. I mean, behind, excuse me, like she's still in her position, if that makes sense. And number seven's over there, so it's all good. Also, overlap is really complicated, so honestly, I could mess that up here. And I mean, it's all, your coach will tell you like not to overlap, like that's not really a problem. Um, and then we're just gonna have our passers. Number 12 is gonna be passing out of left back, and she's just been staying there anyway, so that's pretty easy. And then our libero will be passing in the middle. Now we're gonna go to our base position. Our base positions, number nine, is in right front that is her base because that is her position but in service order she's in left front and that's why you see people like stack before they um serve like when this say uh, my team is serving right these nine these players nine and 16 would be stacking right here by their middles like number nine would be kind of pinched in right here and number 16 would be pinched in right here and they'd switch because they have to go to their base um, number seven is lucky. She just gets to stay in the middle. <laughs> she does not have to move. And 16 will be going back to her base on the left side. Because remember, number 16 is our outside hitter number one. And where does the outside hitter, where do they live basically? Your base is like your home. And they live on the left side, left front. And then um, we're going to have number 12 play middle back. Because usually... Outside hitters, I mean, they can play left back, they can play middle back, but usually they play middle back because they like to hit back row. So we're going to have number 12. Um, her base is going to be middle back. Our libero is going to play left back just because that's typically where the libero plays. And then number two, our setter is right there. And that is it. Now, um, later on, we're going to include another setter so I can show you all how a 6-2 works. But let me um, get to that point and then I'll show you guys what's up. Now we are in rotation four. Now, keep in mind how I said that we're running a 6-2 offense 
meaning that there are two setters and they're always back row. Meaning that one setter plays one rows one, two, and three, and then the second setter plays um, rows four, five, and six. So it's like, you can like do the math. Like there's six rotations, two setters, divide that by two is three each. So now that we're in rotation four, we're gonna write in who our setter is real quick. Let's make up a number real quick. Um, Let's go with, why is that not zooming out? Okay, there. Let's go with number 13, sure. That is setter number two. Okay, and this is also where our second opposite hitter comes in. Number 22. That's opposite number two. Okay, now that we have our lineup all done, we're going to write them in. So, we're in rotation four now. So keep in mind that number nine has now, our first opposite hitter has rotated to the back row. Now, who comes in for the opposite hitter that comes, the opposite hitter number one that rotates back row? The second setter always subs in for the outs or for the opposite hitter that's back row now. Okay, because she's basically like playing her back row, essentially. You can think about it like number nine and the second setter are like one person. Like just number nine is playing the front row and then she's playing the second um half of her rotations or the back row which is keep in mind that like number seven is our middle so we're gonna put slash l slash the barrel okay um and then we have number 16 now you can see that number two is supposed to go front row but number two is our back row setter so we're gonna sub her in for number 22 and that is our opposite number two and she's gonna play front row great number 10 is in the middle 12 and now number nine is back row, meaning that setter number two is going to come in for her. So that's number 13. And see how they are opposites. Right across from each other. Just how number nine and number two are opposites. See, they're right across from each other every time. Every time. That's how you can know that you're in rotation and that you're good is if you're right, like, diagonal from each other. So now we're going to write in the surfacey pattern for this now it really is like the same because it's like you're basically like restarting rotation one with rotation four because you just have a new setter and a new opposite hitter right see notice the parallel like number nine our opposite hitter number one started in left front and now look our second opposite hitter is starting in left front our first setter started in right back our second setter is starting in right back right so it's just basically like a a replay of like row one two and three for the second half of the rotations. So we're gonna do the same like little scheme. Pull back there. Barrow 16. Mm -hmm. Boom. Just like that. And like number 10, this is overlap, right? They're not overlapping because number 10 is ahead of 22 and that's how it is in the rotation. Oh, let me fix this real quick for y'all. These don't match. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna write in their base position. So um, our setter is number 13, so she's gonna be in right back. Our opposite hitter is number 22, she's gonna be in right front. Number 10 is our middle blocker, so she's gonna be in middle front. 16 is our um, front row op ugh, front row outside hitter, and notice how like our two outside hitters, number 16 and number 12, are passing together. Number 16 always has to be like a little bit step ahead of these two people because she can't be overlapping, but she is front row. So 16 left front, our libero is in left back and our opposite hitter, I mean, excuse me, our out, my outside hitter number two is in middle back. Just like that. And I'm gonna finish out the rest of this and we're gonna, I'll give y'all some closing thoughts. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I realized I made a little bit of a mistake. So for this servicey pattern in rotation three, so she, she's going to pull up right here with the um, middle blocker and the outside hitter number two. And then um, I pulled back the opposite hitter to pass instead of the outside just to spice things up. And that also reflects in rotation six. But yeah, that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informational. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them in the comments. And... Yeah, thank you so much. Subscribe if you want to, and I'll see y'all guys next week. Bye.